the girls uh, actually started looking at outdoor air pollution and as a result of their research, they actually ended up focusing their energy looking at indoor air pollution, which actually tends to be worse and contribute to more illnesses and sometimes even deaths. The girls actually developed two different projects. One of them is a little robot, the kind of like the Roomba robot, but it actually travels through the vents in their homes and it collects all the dust and helps clean it up. Um, and then the other project is an enhancement to carbon monoxide detectors. So what they did is they added two additional sensors. It sends uh, the homeowner or the resident a uh, message on their phone, and then they have an app that is connected to the device. It gives them the levels, and then it actually triggers the vacuum to turn on and start purifying the air. My name is America and I am the team captain for one of the groups for DIY Girls. People don't really think of a way to solve indoor air quality, so that was something that we decided like needed more attention and can also help our community's health along the way. Our biggest goal is to have them patent and to get them distributed so then people from low-income families can get these devices so they can help filter the air inside their homes. We have a lot of talent here, so we want to make sure that we're cultivating it and that we're letting these girls know that they can achieve anything that they really set their minds to, and that success is at um, hands reach. This club has actually inspired my career choice, which is civil engineering, and it has made me see problems differently. So now when I see encounter any um, obstacles or problems, I always think of a way to solve them. Before I was in DIY Girls, I was not really involved in my community, but afterwards I realized while I'm a part of this community, I might as well help do something to make it better. It's not just the, the engineering side of it, it's the activism side of what we're doing is what really touched me.